so we'll start with our next experiment which is parallel resonant circuit this is how your experiment looks in the book so we'll start with the connections now second of your inductor is connected to the first of resistance it is a pure resistance it is not a variable resistance as in the last case now we'll connect second of the resistance to the first of exactly actually second of the resistance to the second of the capacitor and then first of the capacitor is connected to the first of the inductor and now we'll connect voltmeter and emitter the second of the voltmeter is connected to the second of capacitor this is how it's going and first of the voltmeter is connected to the first of the capacitor and lastly we'll have emitter your second of the emitter is connected to the first of the inductor and then first of the emitter is going to the first of your oscillator function generator and lastly we'll have induct your oscillator and function generator second is going to the inductors second and this is how your connections are completed it's quite complicated but it's simple when you do this and we'll have the same kind of table which is r l and c which will have a definite values and we'll have a constant value of voltage which is measured from this voltmeter we'll have a definite value which is fixed and then we'll vary this frequency according to which we'll have the current varying as it is shown in the table and then we'll calculate the values of resonant frequency and quality factor and this is how your experiment is done and and for other reasons you can go and check out the book thank you